Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is that Jack Dan back with another every TMNT video. This one talking about Turtles of Grey Skull, which is a mashing of He Man and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How about that? Yeah, Turtles of Grayskull. So the turtles, I guess, go through a through a portal or something and get into Grayskull. So there is a kind of teaser poster of the turtles jumping in with the Master of the Universe. Here's our first figure with Donatello, hero turtle at arms. So Man at Arms gives Donatello some armor. And boom, we got Turtle at Arms. So you can see him in action. You can see he's got the bow staff steel stored on his tur turtle shell, but he's got Man at Arms club on the end of it. Purple Man at Arms helmet, chest plate, arm plates, and shin plates. And then the turtle shell comes off as a shield. What? The artwork from the package. Going up against a tease for another figure coming soon, Beast Man. Crossing Dimensions isn't so bad. Not if you're Donatello and strike up a friendship with Man at Arms. When these two tech geniuses put their minds together, they create turtle inspired Eternian armor to combat Krang's mutants. <laughs> this also includes a comic book. Next we have He-Man, most powerful mutant in the universe, so He-Man gets mutated. Okay. You can see at the top of that card, you see the villains with Shredder and Skeletor. So obviously that means that this particular He-Man is now a villain. He's got that club, kind of like Spikor has. Spikes on the arms as well, and the belt. He's got his uh, his head, his hair is held up by a bandana like the turtles. There's your artwork for that particular package. And here's that write-up. You see Shredder in the background with the mutation, which is very interesting. It looks very similar to the uh, Horde uh, slime pit. What happens when the most powerful man in the universe is doused with mutagen, mutagenic ooze from another dimension? Nothing good. With He-Man now a mindless pawn in Skeletor's hand, will this be the end of Eternia? Next we have Leonardo, heroic, heroic ninja turtle leader. So you see he's kind of got some fur on his back, still some armor on him, and then two swords as well. You see at the top there, He-Man and Leonardo, so you can tell he's a good guy, of course. You see the swords on the back there, having the katana on the back. And of course the shield, the uh, shell comes off again as a shield. Very interesting. There's the back of that package, one up against Shredder. An explosion from the Technodrome sends the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles across dimensions to Eternia. Now augmented with tech from Man at Arms, Armory Leonardo leads his brothers into battle for the power of Grayskull. You can see the back of the card, the rest of the figures. With we've already shown off Donatello and He-Man here, so our next figure will be Man at Arms. Now very cool, his two katanas actually merged together. That's why you only saw the one on the back. So very similar to the He-Man sword where they actually combined together. And there's his artwork. You see Castle Grace going in the background there. And here we have our last figure from Wave 1 with Man at Arms, Weapons Master, and a half shell. 
So he's also getting the shell weapon this time. Has a large weapon like uh, Donatello does. His helmet's a lot longer than normal. But yeah, there you can see he's actually wearing a shell as well. So they're merging weapons with each other. Kind of got some samurai look to his belt there. And a turtle on his left arm. Turtle shell. There's his artwork. Going up against Krang. With He-Man missing, Man-at-Arms knows all of Eternia is vulnerable to Skeletor's nefarious schemes. Fortunately, he meets four heroic brothers, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Together, they can save the universe. And I told you about the tease for Beast Man. There it is up close. Showing Beast Man with some samurai gear on. We've got the tease for the shredder there with the mutagen right there. Another tease for shredder coming in wave two. There's the card art there for the top with the good guys with He Man and Leonardo. And the bad guys with Skeletor and Shredder. Turtles of Grayskull. All right, then they got a poster here showing off not only wave one, but wave two and wave three. So with Raphael, Mutated Ram Man, Shredder, and Beast Man. And we got your Mouse Jaw, which is Trap Jaw merged with Mouser. Slacker, which is Slash with Faker. Krang, and then a Mutated Moss Man. So there's that wave one. And then wave two and three. First off, here's Raphael. Got a massive sigh on him there. And of course, he looks like he's merged with a Ram Man. Got the two sides. The one that he's holding in some kind of a gauntlet there. I'm not sure what that is. Got the storage on the back for the sigh. You can actually take the helmet off from Ram Man. Again, you can take the shell off as a shield. Here's your Raphael in package. You can see the massive size he comes with and the helmet on the head there. There's the back of his package. You can see where the helmet can come off, and he's going up against Slacker in the artwork there. You can see Shredder in the background as well, and Skeletor, Snake Mountain as well. And there is Ram Man himself mutated, so of course now Ram Man is a villain as well. Got some horns on him. Wow, big old goatee, horns, real horns, and, and uh, horns on the helmet. He's got two axes there. Got this purple mutation. Store the axe on his back. There's your Ram Man in package. You see the axes he comes with. Got the horns on the head. Nice goatee. Translucent purple on the arms there. Front and back of that package. And that artwork. Showing He Man and Skeletor in the background, a slime pit. Krang and Moss Man there tied up. Here's our Shredder, looking like the Horde. Got an axe and a crossbow. Very interesting. Got his cape off his back there. Here's your Shredder in package, showing the weapons off as well. Looking like Shredder's part of the Horde as well with that bow. And from the back of the package, showing going up against Splinter. And that artwork right there. Here's that beast man with and without the armor on here. Here's the without. You got the shield, a uh, whip, and then like I said, all that samurai armor. So there's the samurai armor on. Got a turtle shell shield. Beautiful armor there. Without the helmet on. Here's your beast man in package showing all the accessories off that he does come with. Nice samurai look to him, of course. And here's all four of that wave and package. There's our mouse jaw. 
You see he's got a blast effect that can come out of a regular arm, it can come out of a mouser arm. You can hook the mouser legs up to his belt there as storage. Very interesting mashing here. He's also got his his axe steel, his blaster. Except got a little tease here of Mouse Jaws package, which will have a build a figure in it. Metal Bato, which is uh, interesting. So there's the sides of the package with the artwork. The back of the package shows Metal Bato build a figure. In this particular case, the Mouse Jaw only comes with an arm. So I don't know what all you're going to have to take to build this me uh, Metal Bato. Rest of the package. Package artwork there, you see a little tease of Tila. With her armor on. All right, so here's Mouse Jaw in package, evil armed with Mouser. You see the Mouser on the side. The blast effect there comes with build a figure piece for Metal Bato. There's our Slacker, which is Slash and Faker. You can see the chest plate is busted open, showing the controls inside, just like the regular Faker. And he's got two knives slash spikes there. These are slacker and package from the sides, front and back there. And then the other sides. Showing the build-a-figure piece there, of course. So yeah. One of four pieces. There's that metal bato for slasher. Slacker, I think is what it's called. Show a little bit better picture of what he looks like. Up close. Still not that great shot of it yet. Put us up on the shelf. And here's that beautiful artwork for Slacker. Showing a write-up of him, Faker and Slash mixed together. And the original artwork there on the side for Turtles of Grayskull for Slacker. Alright, here's some great pictures of Slacker with his armor off. Showing the controls on the inside of the chest there. Showing you can take the turtle shell off the back and use it as a shield. You've got his knives there with the spikes on the ends. That's awesome. And there it is from the back. Showing that turtle shell where you can store them on there as well. Very cool. I love the teeth as well. Here's your crane. You can see crane. You can put this extension in him as well. Kind of like extendor. So he's got his mace there and his axe that he can put in his hand but i love the fact that you can extend him like that that's really cool dragging the mace around crane inside of him in a cage there's the axe all right here's crane and package front and sides there's the back of that package i right, saw so route up to him of megator andrew body and crane and the artwork with Crane trying to climb out of the body, going up against Raph. Up close to that android. There's our mutated moss man. Looking kind of like Evil Seed. So hopefully he's not bad, we'll see, I guess. Don't know a lot about the storyline, but man, what a crazy plant there coming out of his head. Holy cow. Plants coming out of his back, plants coming out of his hands, everywhere. Venus flytrap there. Put out his chest. I guess you can do all kinds of things. Here's your moss man in package, front and back. And the sides as well. Beautiful artwork going up against Leo. And there is those new Wave 2 and 3 figures. No packages for those yet.
All right, so let's take a look at one of the comic books that comes with it here. You can see the front artwork there showing lots of the turtles, all four of the turtles, which we have not seen Mikey yet. We've seen the other guys. But you see He-Man, Man-at-Arms, and then there's Tila as well. So I'm guessing Wave 4 will give us the Tila and the Michelangelo coming to us. Page 1 and page 2. You got Roboto in there. Battle Cat. Stalker. There's no words on here. It's a very interesting story here. They run into Mouse Jaw there with all the Mousers. You see them taking on all the Mousers. And then all of a sudden you see a Nunchuck and there are the Turtles. No disguises yet, but helping out. Taking out Trap Jaw or Mouse Jaw. Hello, we're Turtles. There you see Krang and Shredder still in Dimension X. Turtles jump through the portal into the Technodrome. And then I'm not sure what happens. Now they've also all of a sudden got turtle armor. Trap Jaw still trapped in jail. Michelangelo with He-Man hair, so he's got battle armor He-Man on, that's crazy. Eating some pizza. Skeletor, Krang, and Shredder together at Snake Mountain. You see Leatherhead there in the background. Dragon He-Man, who has now been mutated. There's a mutated He-Man with the mutagen canister there. So that's it. That's the book. No words. Very interesting. Here's all of the figures at this time, at that time, that were released in package so far. All of them loose at that time. The three turtles at that time. All right, let's jump into TMNT. Got some teases before the promo even hit with Skeletor and Michelangelo as He-Man. Showing those off here in this backdrop of a little video that we saw. And here's that full poster. Showing off what we're getting for Turtles of Grayskull, which is a mashup of Master of the Universe and TM TMNT. Zooming in closer, you can see the Mike and the Skeletor we know about. You got Tila, Stealth Ninja Leonardo, April O'Neil as the Sorceress, Stealth Ninja He-Man, Merman, Casey Jones, Leatherhead, Splinter Skull, Two Bop Steady, and Hordak. We'll get into those here in a second. But zooming in, you see those a little bit closer. Yeah, great poster there for those as well. First off, here's your Michelangelo, heroic captain of Cowabunga with his shell shield and his nunchucks with his long hair wig, battle armor on as well. Back of that package, you can see the hair does come off. And you see he's in a battle with Hordak on the back there, which we'll talk about here in a second. Here you see him in action with and without the wig on, with his nunchucks, that can store in the shell. And of course the shell comes off as a shield as well. We have Tila here with some turtle shell armor and helmet and pads. Also a giant saw. There is her in package. Shell kicking warrior goddess. That massive saw, the shell on the back, which she can also hold as a shield. And you can see where you can plug the shell on the back. We got Skeletor, Evil Samurai of Destruction. Got some nunchucks for him as well. Got the ooze canister, I guess, there, and some arm bracelets, maybe. There he is in action, going up against Donatello as Man-at-Arms. And you see the other turtles in the background as well. You see the close-up here of Skeletor with the gauntlets on his arms as well. And I hope he glows in the dark. 
Here's what we sew and package so far for this wave. We also have Splinter Skull coming. Got his spear, his cape. You see, this spear can be taken apart and be a sword as well. Of course, you can take his cape off as well. We have Deluxe Merman here with his sword, and you can switch out his legs for the fin there. That's awesome. And you can see he's very translucent. Love the mouth sculpt on this guy. But there he is with the mermaid fin there, I guess. Here's our Casey Jones in package front and back. Yeah, Casey Jones with so many weapons. So he's got to be deluxe, right? There he is with the weapons on and off. Got the hockey stick. Golf bag storing the weapons. Got the fisto or jitsu hand there. The hockey mask, the hammer, swords, axes, spear. All right, we have Bebop and Rocksteady mixed together. It's too bad, called Bopsteady with a sword and a mace there. And you also have April O'Neil as the sorceress with a giant hammer. We have Leatherhead with his trap, his hat, and helmet maybe there. And then also you have Stealth Ninja Leonardo with his two uh, katanas and a set of keys on his waist there. Then we have Stealth Ninja He-Man. So he's got a garb he can put on, so some pads as well. And then a mask over his face, I'm guessing. And look at his boot. His right boot is ripped up. Interesting. And then you have Hordak. Hordak looks amazing. He's got the blaster and he's got a set of wings you can put on his back. That is awesome. So yeah, there is your tease for all the turtles that they have made so far, plus the ones that are coming. You can see the Build-A-Figure at the very top, Metal Bato. And yeah, the He-Man does have a mask over his face. Very cool. Very interesting that Krang is not in this picture. But yeah, there's your close-up with that metal bateau. And then another shot of the sorceress there has kind of got this plume behind her head as well, along with, as well as a hammer. Hordak with the wings on, and again, you can see He-Man there with the mask over and all the armor on his body there. So yeah, this line is expanding dramatically, very fast, with all of these figures and their accessories. Very cool for the turtles of Grayskull. I hope the line is doing well. Everybody's looking really nice. So yeah, get out there and get these things pre-ordered if you haven't already. Entertainment Earth. So here they all are loose. Here they all are in package so far. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a kind of comment. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. Guys, what do you think about this mashup of Motu and TMNT? Two of my favorite franchises, but I don't know what I think about the mashup. At least there's a storyline that goes with it. Talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.